What's happening, people? It's James Beardwell, the Whitton Town supporter here, and welcome back to another Whitton Town FC match day vlog. It's the FA Cup first qualifying round day. Whitton Town are home to Sheringham in the FA Cup first qualifying round. I am super excited for the game today, and we got our full singing voices from our Whitton Town supporters all ready to get behind the Whitton Town players and the staff, and especially for our Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball, as always. Sheringham come from North Norfolk, which is quite a long way, so they got a long trip to us. But we as Whitton Town supporters, we're super excited for this afternoon as we have got the home advantage against Sheringham in the FA Cup first qualifying round. And they're in the fellow Nun East County Division, I think, from Sheringham, which they're a league below us. But just like Callum said in the previous pre-match thoughts, it won't be easy against Sheringham, which they're going to be really up for it against us. But like we said, we got a home advantage against Sheringham and... I know some people seem to think it will be a walkover, but it's not. It won't be a walkover because it won't be easy against Sheringham because they are going to be really up for it against us this afternoon because they're making their long trip all the way to us for this afternoon. They're going to, they're going to be really up for it against us. But like we said, we have got the home advantage. We can beat Sheringham in the FA Cup first qualifying round if the players turn up to put on a really good show for our Whitton Town supporters throughout the whole 90 minutes. And now, I'm about to go away to the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the Whitton Town home match against Sheringham in the FA Cup first qualifying round match very shortly. Come on the town! I'm now arrived at the Whitton Town Football Club for Breakfast Club and I've got the usual full English breakfast to fill me boots all ready for the Whitton Town home support against Sheringham in the FA Cup first qualifying round match and now I'm going to enjoy my breakfast. I'm currently now just finished my breakfast at Breakfast Club up at the Whitton Town Football Club. And now I'm just waiting for my mates of the main fellow Whitton Town supporters to arrive to do the pre-match thoughts, half-time thoughts and full-time thoughts as always. And let's hope it'll be a fantastic afternoon. Up the town! Hi Ollie. Hi Hello guys. Hello, you, you, looking right? for, you looking forward to the game today? Yeah, really looking forward to it. Buzzing already. Hi James. Garley, yeah, enjoy, yeah. The, enjoy the game. Thank you. Hi, James. Hi, Gary. How you doing, mate? You looking forward to the FA yeah. Cup today? Looking forward, mate. Hopefully we can get a win, eh? Excellent. Let's go, eh? Yeah. Up In, the town. Up the town. Enjoy the game. Thank you, mate. Hi, Kevin. Doing, James? Good, thank you. You looking forward to the game today? Yeah, FA Cup, that's always a good one. So, yeah, all the boys are really up for today and hopefully we can put on a decent performance and uh, get our name in the hat on Monday. Thank you so much for your time, Kevin. Enjoy the game. Cheers, mate. Hi, Warren. Look good, thank you. Looking forward to the game. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Enjoy the game. Hi, Liam. Hi, James. You looking forward to the game today? Yeah, always. You. Excellent. Enjoy the game. I'm now with the main fellow Whitton Town supporter, Callum. Hello, Jane. How are we doing? Good, thank you. This is the big FA Cup first qualifying round match. And I know people seem to think it's going to be a walkover, but it's not. Because, like we said, we had to respect them because, like... But for us, we want to go far as possible. And... But we've got to perform, like, 1,000%. Yeah, look, if we win today, I think, you know, if we can win this, we're in the second qualifying round. And mm. there's a chance there to get to the third. Some of the teams that have drawn against each other, you know, you look at, like, Newmarket against Ipswich, you know, you've got Barking against St. Neots. If we can win today, there's a good chance that we could draw another team in our league or even a team below, which means it should be an easier game to progress. So, we, you know, we, as much as we want to get chumps for Braintree in the next round, we want, <laughs> we want to avoid the big teams as much as possible in these early rounds. But I think, no, obviously, showing them it'll be a tough game, but 
hopefully we can get the job done. I think we'll, I see it as a comfortable game for, for us today. I don't see showing them putting us under a lot of pressure. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it in the, yeah, in the FA Cup game. Another win, hopefully, and that means progressing and more, more money into, into the football club. The players are really confident this afternoon, and but we've got to perform 100% from the players and, and for our players to put on a really good show for our fans. And just like I said, we want to go far as possible. And we want to see Whitton Town do really well this season, and not just in the league, but in the FA Cup and the FA Trophy competitions, we, we want to do well this season. Yeah, for me, I think even the FA Trophy and the FA Cup, they're sort of, they're as important or even more important than the league. These are the cups that bring the money into the club. We have a good run, we get more money into the club. You know, if we have a good, good run in the league, that's fantastic, but we don't get money for that. Whereas these competitions, we get to the first one of our second one of our we bank, easily bank 5,000. Next run could be 8,000 pounds, you know. We could, you know, that's a lot of money for a, for a, a small club like Whitham. You know, any club at non-league to get that amount of money is massive. So hopefully we can win, and again, more money. You know, that's great for us, and we can put that back into the into the club and invest in the squad. I agree 100% because that would be really good for the club, like to go far as possible to bring good money into the club, like the prize money. And um, but like I said. People think it's a walkover, but it's not. It won't be easy because, da, da, like... Did you enjoy Laura? No. Stealing my airtime. Yeah, that's all right. Da, 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 da. Oh, my airtime's gone now. No, that's all right. No, no, no. No, let's just, yeah. <laughs> no, let's just, yeah, it'll be a tough... It should be, be a tough game, but we've got the capabilities there to put in a good performance. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited for this afternoon. We're excited for the for the game against Sheringham and um, they came all that way from Norfolk, but hopefully we'll end their run this afternoon by getting the win for Wigan Town. But yep. like we said, we have to respect them because like they travel that far and yep. like but we wanna win against Sheringham this afternoon and um, but it won't be easy though. Uh, well, I don't know, it's, I think it it won't be as hard as you know some of the other games we played but i just think we've got the squad we can go out there and put in a good form. we play our best game or even our, our b game we'll come away vic victorious i'm sure you know mm. showing them their lead below you know they got beat five nil last weekend against the near so hopefully yeah we just need to win it mm. yeah we need to win this afternoon because it'll be really good for the club like to bring revenue with money into the club because like the more further we go in the competition to bring good money into the club, the prize yep, that's money. That's what we want. And that is what we want, and it's our main aim for this season to go far we got, as possible. We got to the second one off home last time, got, got a decent amount of uh, money there. If we do the same again, we're going to second one home and get another decent amount of money. It's good for the club to get this, this money, so hopefully, it's another good run. Brentwood next week as well in the trophy. Mm. So hopefully, we can have a good run in that as well and get some more money into the club. Because, you know, that's what we want. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Callum? <laughs> now I'm, I'm debating whether to go sensible or, or do I go a bit over the top. Uh, it's your choice. I'll go. Uh, you know, I'll go sensible. This week. I'll go two 0 win. I'm going to be really optimistic as well, and um, it won't be a high scoring because, like, we've got to. Be over the top score. Six nil. <laughs> <laughs> but now um, we, I won't go to a high score because, like, we have to respect them because, like, um, I know they're a league below us. But some people say it won't be easy, which I agree. But who knows what's going to happen this afternoon? But I am confident we'll go three 0 Whitton Town. Yeah, good prediction there. That's this year. Thank you for your time again. Let's hopefully we can get a good performance today. Thank you so much for your time, Callum. And, and can we do it and come on the town? Come on the town. Come on the town. I'm now with the main fellow Whitton Town supporter, Callum, and the kids, people, and the other main fellow Whitton Town supporter, Laura. Hello, Hello, James. James. Hello. Good, thank you. It's the first first qualifying round of the FA Cup, and um, I'm super excited and we're excited for the game. And just like you said, Law off camera, we've got to respect them this afternoon because, like, I know they're a league below us, and um, but it's the first 
qualifying round of the FA Cup, which we want to win to go further, hopefully, and as long as the players give 100%. Yeah, at the end of the day, we have, like I said to you off camera, we have to be respectful to Sheringham. Mm. You know, they've come all this way. You know, it, it isn't going to be an easy game. Mm. We do not want to come out and be like, this isn't easy, and then struggle. Like, come on. So we've got to come out and play to the best. We've got to play better than we did on Monday. Mm. We went on our top four Monday, but you know what? We played two games in near enough 48 hours, wasn't it? So come on. So that's that's fine. That's gone. Massive, massive game today. But we have to be respectful mm. to Sheringham because we come out and say, oh, Sheringham, you know, we're going to bash them 12 nil. What happens if they beat us? We would look at absolute laughing stock, wouldn't we? I so, agree. 100% respectful to Sheringham. I agree everything 100% because we've got to respect them. And, um, and like people seem to think it's a walkover, but it's yeah. not. No. But it won't be easy against yeah, they want They want the money for their club just as much as we want the money for our mm. club. But to me, this game is more important than a league game, 100%. So, you know, we've got to give it our all today and we've got to start straight from the kickoff. You know, I've got eight minutes. So come on, guys, get a go in eight minutes for me, please. I need a bit of money. <laughs> It'll be nice to get an early goal for, for Whitton Town. And, um, but we want to see our club, Whitton Town, do really well in the FA Cup and the FA Trophy, and especially in the league, we want to see our club do do really well. Yeah, we've got another game on Tuesday night again, haven't we? Uh, Brighton C, isn't it? Brighton C, Brighton C region C, at home. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we've got another game on Tuesday should, night. Should we, obviously... In the Velocity Obviously, cup. if we if, do if the we, worst today and we... If we, we do draw, uh, we'd obviously the, we, the game. Yeah. But yeah, we're 99% sure it's going to be Brighton C, so that's another good game. Yeah. Then we've got Brentwood away in the trophy, so that I'm looking forward to that one as well. Look forward to it as well. Nice, a nice trip out, and then so hopefully another. I think we've got what, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, haven't we? Yeah, so, we got it. Yeah, then we've got so, Ipswich the following, I think, and then it's someone else and it's Milton also. Yeah, so, but no, a lot of games and, coming in. Yeah, there's a lot of games. There's a lot of pressure on Gary and the lads now because there is a lot of games coming flying at us, left, right, and centre. So then players have got to be, you know, they've got, they got to stay fit, they've got to be on form and just play like you did last Saturday, you mm. know, be a, flip it, be, be a fantastic team like we was like Saturday. I'm not saying we were bad on Monday because we wasn't, but we just not wasn't our best and I agree. we made Haybridge look really good on, on Monday, didn't yeah. we? And, you know, but we'll see what happens today, um, but we're looking forward to it, aren't we? Yeah, we're really looking forward to it and, um, but like we said, after the Habish game, lots of positives to take, yeah. and we take the positives. We're going to have highs and we're going to have lows, aren't we, of the season? Of course we are. It's what you, it's what you are as, a, as a, a fan of your local football club, isn't it? It's, but we're looking forward to it, aren't we? Yeah, definitely, because like we said, we want to go far as possible in the FA Cup. That's, that's all we want is yeah. to, you need to get this money in the cup. Be I'm getting a bit bored. We're not even at the first round yet. Come on. <laughs> Why is there so many rounds? We've got one about... Yeah. Three more rounds yeah. to get to the first yeah. round proper. We've got to win today yet, haven't we? So. But yeah, I think there's a real chance of getting as far as the game. As I said, yeah. we win today and we get a favourable draw next. It could be in the third round, you know, then it's ever closer, but no. I'm gutted because if we do win today, we're going to miss the next game because we'll be on holiday, so. But at least you'll have a nice holiday. We, well, yeah, then we will have a nice holiday, but we'll be watching. I will be like that on football web pages, and uh, you've got you'll, me pretty you'll up. be texting I'll be on me every the, second, so it's I'll fine. I'll be putting the updates to you. So, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to today. Hopefully we get a few more people here today. Come on, that'll be the really good. The weather's good, so let's get. What's a few our more. score predictions then? What are we thinking? And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Callum? Yeah, as I said on the other, I'll go two to win. What's your score prediction? Three 0 win. That's what I'm going for today. I'm going to be really optimistic as always, but like we said, we've got to respect them this afternoon and but it won't be a high scoring for, for Whitton. It won't be a high scoring because we've got to like show a bit of respect for them and um, I'm gonna be positive as always. I'm going 3 0 Whitton Town. Loving it James. Are you are copying me James. Are you <laughs> copying me James? No I predicted as well. Okay James, <laughs> I think you're copying me. Oh, are you copying him though? Because he did say it before you said 3-0. So I think technically <laughs> Only because I said it earlier on, off camera. Hey uh, yeah. James, how many James? <laughs> well, it's all banter, isn't it? Thank exactly, you for the yeah. interview, James. It's two, two today. Oh, I'll have to be asking for your autograph next. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your time. Cheers, buddy. And can we get the win and come up on the, the town? town. Up the town!
I'm now with the another main fellow Whitton Town supporter, Paul. Hello, mate. You all right? Good, thank you. It's the FA Cup first qualifying round match, and we want to go far as possible because, like Callum said, we want to like bring revenue, a bit of money into the club, which will be really, really good. But, but like Laura said, we've got to respect Sheringham because they travel all this way. And um, but of course, we want to go far as possible, and we want to see our club, Whitton Town, do really well in the FA Cup, FA Trophy, of course, in the league as well. And um, but. I'm confident we'll win, we're excited, and as long as the players give a thousand percent. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's, uh, I mean, the league campaign is our bread and butter for most of the season, but it's mm. lovely to have a cup run, isn't it? Good for confidence, good for revenue, like you said. Uh, yeah, let's hope we get a good performance today. We've had a really good start to the season, I think, so far. The boys have looked uh, sharp. Uh, from front to back, goalkeepers look good. Defensively, we've been sound. Midfields look strong up front, <clears throat> very lively. So I think, yeah, we've got no one to fear here. And uh, if we put in a good performance, no reason we can't win the game. And uh, let's hope we can get a good run together in the cup. And Joshua Sude he played up front. He was absolutely outstanding. He had a flying start to the season. He scored every single game. And he scored some really good goals, like especially against Haybridge twice on a Monday when we drew 2-2. Two -two. But... But like Laura said, it's a positive result, and we move on to today's game. And but we had a flying start to the league season, and but Josh was on fire. Yeah, he's been really lively, isn't he? I, we were, at that game at Brighton Sea Regent, we were there, and he absolutely terrorised their whole back line. He looked absolutely lively. They didn't didn't know what to do with him. They tried getting tight, and he would beat them for pace. They tried uh, backing off, and he beat them with a bit of skill. He, uh, yeah, he's looked unstoppable so far. If we can keep him fit and in the zone. Uh, we've got every chance but the whole front line you know when they've come on Andrew's done well and uh, DC as well um, yeah the whole front line we've got options there and we've got some really good players so um, yeah we look a look a good side this season yeah we look like a really good side this season because I know last season we stayed in the league in 14th last season we kept most of our squad together and we've got a few new players in and I'm really excited for this season, and we're excited for this season, and we had a flying start to the, to the league season, And but we want to see our club, Whitton Town, do well. Yeah, and I think the key to it is to treat every game like a final in, in that mm. way. But we mustn't be complacent. Uh, sharing them, uh, if we treat them with the respect that they deserve, there's every chance we can win this game. But we've got to, we've got to put in the effort, we've got to match them, um, mm. for physical effort. And, and really put 100% in. We know we've got the skill and the ability to, to beat them, but we need to match them for performance. So if we do that, I think we'll be all right. But yeah, we, we need to treat all the games and give the opponent respect. But um, mm. we know that um, we've got a good side out there, so we, we, should, we shouldn't be fearing anybody. Yeah, I agree. We should never fear anybody, especially in the league, and especially like the top teams like Barrytown, Felix Stowe, and other top teams like we never fear anyone in the league and like because we can beat anyone yeah if we play our own game i think that's the key to it don't worry too much about what the opposition are doing mm. we know the, the style we want to play and we stick to that week in week out we'll be all right but um yeah i think the key to it is just play your own game and that's what we've been doing so far and so far so good and last season we went into the FA Cup second qualifying round, but this year we want to see our club go further in the FA Cup competition and in the FA Trophy as well. And some matches ain't very easy, but if we keep up the consistency finally, and we, we can we can go far as possible in the FA Cup or the FA Trophy. Yeah, I mean, the further you get in all these competitions, the more difficult it gets. We want to get to the stage where we've got Manchester City here. Uh, Spar Road. So yeah, the further you go, the more difficult it gets. But yeah, we just stick the way we play, and we know we've got a good system. We know we've got good players, good manager. I think we'll be all right. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Paul? Uh, I'll go confident. I'll go uh, three, three, one with. Excellent. I'm feeling confident as well. And and like Laura and I said on camera, we've got to respect them of sharing them because they travel all this way. But I am really confident that it'll be 3 0 Whitton Town. Lovely. Go big or go home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, Paul. And can Whitton Town win and go far as possible in the competition? It's absolutely. Come on, the town. Come on, Whitton. 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 Come on, Whitton.
Come on, wait, sir. Up there, yeah. Go, on, Josh. Come on, Sam. Fish. Come on, Come on, waiter. There's only one Gary Kimball. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. There's only one. Callum Fitza, Bunes of Essex, we know what we are, we know what we are, we know what we are, champions of Essex, we know what we are. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we win, we've got to come on, we turn. Ooh. Go on. Oh. Hey. Oh. Go on. Come on, Sal. Come on, Sal. Fat. It's going in your net! In your net! It's going in your net! Fish! Oh! Goal kick! Score there! I'm with Barnaby who comes all the way from New Zealand right. to watch the game. It's been great to meet you. It is. Nice to meet you, mate. How you been? Yeah, good. Good, mate. I watch your channel all the time. Zealand. I've been watching you for a long time. You did the video with Ellis from away days. I remember, yeah, it was Ever brilliant. Since against Basildon. Basildon like, when we kept Whitman Town up. up. That day. Yeah, I watched that game, I remember that. And that's, I've watched you since then. Honestly, I've been, and now I live in Chelmsford, so yeah. That's super. I'll be down here all the time now. Thank, yeah. thank you so much for your time. Course, mate. And nice to meet you. Enjoy the game, nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too, mate. Ah. Go 
on, Josh. Oh, cool in your net. It's going in your net. Come on, Whitson! Ah! Come on! Go on, the M. Go on, Wixie. Well done. Oh. Number six, great. Go Come on. on. Come on, Wixie. I know we say no one supports. Good ball. Go on. Go on. Ah. Now, come on. Get a goal half time. Get a goalkeeper half time. Come on. Rams all over him. Come on. Must be Come on, town. Let's get a goal half time. Come on. Good, oh, it's good delivery. Surely, oh, oh my days! Half time. The half time score: Whitton Town nil, Sheringham nil, and here we got the main fellow Whitton Town supporters, Paul, Laura, and Callum. Hello, mate. Hi, James. Guys, frustrating first half, and then like we had chance after chance after chance. We should have been like one or two up at half time, and then like we dominated them in the first half, and then what went wrong? Well, it's... we just couldn't score. <laughs> <laughs> no, looking at the game, I think we've had our chances. We haven't played too badly, but looking at looking at Sheringham, they've not offered absolutely anything. I think they're probably set out to try and defend, 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 and get a set piece or attack on a counter. So you know, they're pretty, we've got to put a lot of pressure on their. Um, on their defence because they do look a bit shaky at the back so if we can play a little bit better in the second half I think we can get a couple of goals but they've offered nothing so we know it's going to be hard because if we don't get the goal the longer the game goes on they're going to be thinking they could go and nick it or at least pull it and get a replay back at their place but no we've done alright we've had chances but yeah we just need to play a little bit better in the second half and you was right earlier that it won't be easy against them lot, but I know we made it hard for ourselves. To be fair, but... I'm gonna be honest, I did think it'd be a bit easier than it, it has turned out to be, but you know, they're defending well, you know. Yeah, I don't know really what else to say, but as long as we just put in a piece of second half performance and just win the game ultimately. It's like really frustrating, like we was in a nil-nil position, like wheels are over them and we had created chance Absolutely. after Dominate. chance after chance after chance and we should have been putting the goals in and like how do we didn't we didn't score? We could have had at least three or four goals then, couldn't we? In the first half. But it's like I don't know, they just can't get in the net, can they? But they are they've just in the box, aren't they? Sheridan them are just there, aren't they? So they obviously know how fast well, Josh is. And now our counter attack is, but you know what? We just got to keep going. Exactly. It will come. Yeah. It will come. I've got faith that it will come. I agree we've because got to keep at it, I agree, but we can't give them too much respect. No. Like if we give, they if we it. They will exactly, it, yeah. if we give them yeah, too I much respect, yeah. right. if we give them, right. if we give them too much respect, like if we don't take our chances, we're gonna get punished at this level. Probably, yeah. 
Yeah, they've had a few chances. I mean, they, they've had a couple of corners, a couple of set pieces. That's about all they've offered, I think. Um, their goals had a bit of a charm life, I think, like the guys said. We could have easily been, well, this game could have, could have, should have been done and dusted. Really. But, um, yeah, I think the, the encouraging thing is, you know, we're playing well, the approach plays good. The balls into the box are decent. It's just that finish we we have not the final third. Yes, that it's that final bit. And now it's bad luck as well. We've had a couple of shots that have just gone the wrong side of the post. And defensively, I mean they look a very short side, they're a very young side. I mean the replay is gonna be a, a problem for them because it's a school night. <laughs> we do not we, we do not we do not want a replay because like if we get into a replay, we had to travel all the way up to North Norfolk yeah, for the replay, which we don't want that. It's, it's a long our, trip. We'd have to get our passports out. <laughs> And if, if we play like we did in the first half in the second, there should be no need for it. We need to come out and get a goal now, don't we? Well, yeah. the first couple of minutes, we need to come out, dominate, we, get a goal. I think we need to be more clinical. I think. Yeah. Well, because they ain't going to be there for the taking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. we've been yeah. much the better side. I think if we play like we did, I can't believe that they'll survive another... No, I I don't they, know. they are there for the taking. We're just plugging out there, aren't we? But how, yeah, but how long do they, are they going to sit back for until they start thinking we need to press now? Are they going to go to I fall? don't think they've got the power to do that. Are they going to just sit back and play for the draw or are they going to try and nick it? I think they're playing on the counter and they're looking for a set piece or a bit yeah. of luck or yeah. something, something to go their way. Go their way. Yeah. They've offered absolutely nothing. They, yeah, they've First been time. awful. But they know obviously coming in, they know they're... They know they're the underdogs, so obviously they know they're probably not going to beat us if they play like they would against one of the teams in their league. They know they've got to sit back, and as we said, they've got to try and catch on the count or maybe get a corner or a free kick or something. Well, they'll probably be happy with that first round performance because they can't play any worse. No, so, no. Yeah. They are probably the best. They probably would look They're probably more than happy in the Yeah, I mean, they can't yeah. play any worse. And, they're 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 out, out so. and Gary didn't look too no, happy. Gary didn't look happy at all. He didn't look too happy on the bench at all. I think right. the reason they're going to be happy is they're going to look at like we're playing a team above, a, a good Who team. Are in form. An informed team, we've got them nil nil half time. They're probably thinking that's a good result for them. They probably didn't expect to be in that position. I think we need a goal to settle the nerves. And if we get a goal, they've got to come out a bit more. And hopefully, that yeah, that I think. Space. I think you're right. If we score, then they'll have to come out and attack and try and get a goal, which yeah, then opens it up. Then, to then I think we can go and get two or three. We just need to get that, that first yes, goal. Yes, that's, that's the key thing. It's that first They've goal. They've got us by the short and curlies, haven't they? Yeah. Get that first goal, we'll be right. Then, yeah, we'll be, yeah, we'll be fine with that. Because then, then they've got to pressure us. They've, they can't then sit back anymore, they've got to go at us. And by doing that, I think we'll exploit them and we can make it another goal, another two or three goals if, if we can get that first goal. Thank you guys so much for your time. Keep the faith and come on the town. Yes, come, come, on. come on the town, come on! Come on! Well defended! I'll just hit the post! Oh my god!
massive. Everywhere we go, we serve a massive. Everywhere we go. Come on! Ah! Oh. Ah! Go on, Josh! Josh! Go on, Josh! Ah! It's trying to... It's trying to square it. Josh Asuri! Josh Asuri! Josh Asuri! Oh, no one there again. Tim! Come on, wait, Tim! Come on, wait, Tim! Come on! Oh, yes, come on! Is that outside or in? Round the edge of the box. Free kick to us. Come on, we Oh! Ah! Good ball, oh, I like it. Hey! Go on. Ah! Oh, he's giving him balls on the cart run. Hello. Come on! We've got to get the second goal. Go, Callum! Oh, I like A. Oh my days! Giving away more free kicks. Well defended, Callum. Go, Callum! Go, Callum! A second goal would, would do, but... Oh, my days! Good save, Harry! What play, Harry? Harry yeah, Harry Fares! No, 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 no! Harry, Harry Fares! Harry Fares! Oh. Away! Away! It's off his line, it's off his line! The keeper's off his line! Come 
Ah! Ah! What play, I suck? Ah! Yeah, oh. It's like a flipping pinball, isn't it? It's like a pinball. Boom, 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 boom. We've got to get that second goal. We, we want a second goal. Ah! He's got it! Go on, Josh! Ah! Tackle! Go on! We love you, we do! We do! We love you, we do! We do, we love you, we do, 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 we're through to the next round, get in! A win is a win! Come on! It's a legend! We see it's a legend! We see it's a legend! We've seen the legends. We've seen the legends. La la la. La, 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 la. Yes. Win is a win. Come on. Win is a win. Yes. A win is a win. Come on. Win is a win. Cheers. Well done. Well played. Well played. Clean sheet. Well Clean sheet. Well played! Get in! Well played! Yes, Gary! Yes, Gary! So apart again! Josh will tear you apart again! Yes, Josh! No, that's alright. A win is a win! The full time score, Whitton Town 1, Sheringham nil. Yay! Guys, <laughs> what a relief at the end, because like, they gave us a good scare in the second half, like, they were trying to grab the late equaliser, but we defended deep very well, and a win is a win. Yeah, I mean, a win is a win, I thought, yeah, see, it was tough in that second half, but that, see, they had, the, they had their one chance, they had a chance to nick it, and I thought, oh, it's going in, but it was a great save from Harry, but most importantly, we held on, look, we can be disappointed that we did win this by more goals, we had plenty of chances, but... It's a clean sheet, though, we've got a clean sheet. Clean well. sheet is a clean sheet, and a win is a win. I would like to still got a few more goals, but we're through, and that's all that matters. Goal difference is irrelevant in cups, anyway. We won, and that's all that matters. Yeah, I agree 100%. The win is a win, and we're through to the next round, and Favourite we're in the hat for the draw, crossed. and we're in the hat for the next round, and, um, but... Can we go one better than last time? <laughs> yeah, because we're in the, we're in the second qualifying round last season, but, like... Just don't give us horn charge again. <laughs> no, definitely not, no, because, like, we don't want to play against the big teams, and, not like... Yet, anyway. We want to get a favourable draw. A favourable draw, definitely, you know, and we right, want to go, like, further. There's a few teams in there, Ipswich, Newmarket, Walmsow, Goulston, Tineo, it's teams that we have a chance against. So, yeah, but, no, great game. What do you guys think? Yeah, I don't think we've ever sweated so much on a game we've dominated, have we? It was uh, really um, tense at the end there. But yeah, the boys deserve to win. Or oh, you had so many chances, just done really good chances. Game should have been over by half time. But 
Uh, yeah, boys played really well, coach play was good, we just didn't have our shooting boots on today. But the most important thing is, we won, we're into the next round. A win is a win. We were much the better team, so yeah, credit to the boys. Yeah, credit to the lads, and we defended very well, but like, we should have been like, two up at half time, and then like in the second half, we would have, it would have been like six at, at, like, at, at, at full time. Could have been six, yeah, but... As you said, most importantly you won, but it was, you know, if we'd got that second and third, I wouldn't be as nervy at the end, because you're thinking, you keep thinking to yourself, oh, they're going to get a chance, they're going to get a chance to nick it. They had a few set pieces, but apart from that, they didn't threaten us at all, so we looked... It's superb. Although it was only a 1-0 win, and if you looked at the score, you wouldn't think this, but we were comfortable throughout the game, and we didn't, I did, we didn't feel like we were going to ever concede a goal, but... No, great result and yeah, yeah. Great result, we're through to the next round and like... Oh, I think I've lost my voice to be honest. <laughs> you know what, again, like you all just said, we're, we're through to the next round, that's all that matters. We move on now, we've got a big game again Tuesday night, we move on now to the next game, don't we? We've yeah, got, definitely. That's yeah. all that matters, not we? I'll be on the, uh, the uh, FA website looking at the draw from when it comes out. So. Yeah, looking forward to that. And then we've got the next game on Tuesday in the Velocity Cup match. <laughs> Uh, we've just got something to really look forward to and yeah. like um, Brighton Sea you know. region at home and um, but things are like looking good at the moment. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the Brighton Sea game. And, you know, we played them last time and we beat them 3 0. We know how good, how good of a side they are, so it's going to be going to be a test for us. But again, another cup. If we can have, hopefully, we can have another good cup running that. You know, we've got their senior cup as well coming up in October time. Don't know who we've got yet, but uh, again, we've got a good chance of having another good cup of cup. Yeah, let's hope we've saved their shooting boots for Tuesday. Yeah. It'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah, we've got most important matches to look forward to, like especially coming up next Saturday in the FA Trophy, and like yeah. especially we've got something to look forward to on Tuesday in the Velocity Cup, and like, but. The fixtures are coming thick and fast at the moment. We've got a load of games coming up. we got Brighton City Tuesday, then we're at home. Well, no, we're not, we're away to Brentwood, then we've got, I think, Milder and all. Then again, or no, it's Ipswich, Ipswich. Wanderers. Ipswich Wanderers, then we've got, I think it's Roxham, then we've got Milder, so a lot of, a lot of midweek games coming and up. we've got the cup game as well, we included in there, thrown in there, haven't we? Oh, we've got the 14, so obviously Happy our game, we won't, we've got, we won't have, we won't, well, we can allow a trip to Tilbury, so that's a Oh, great, thing. can't wait for that. <laughs> so we've got a good squad. Ollie didn't play today. No Joe. Uh, Andrew C. Stay still to come yeah. back. We've got a good squad of players, so I'm sure we'll rotate things a bit. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll be all right. And I'm just fingers crossed. I want to, if we can get a favourable draw, because I looked and there's probably about eight or nine teams that are sort of our, our like level, so sort of same division or in another division, but the same tier. So if we can get one of them, then I think we could get a, got a chance against them and get potentially get to the third qualifier and go one better. If we just avoid the big teams at the start, if we can. But you never know what the draw is going to throw up. Mm. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for your time. And we're through to the next round. And come on the town. Come, come on the town. Come on. The town. Come on. So here you go. <laughs> what a relief at the end. We kept the 1 0 win against Sheringham in the FA Cup first qualifying round match. Our Whitton Town supporters have been absolutely outstanding throughout the whole 90 minutes. Despite we were holding 1 0, and we should have scored six against Sheringham, but. We, we ha had hacked for the chances against Sheringham, but like we said, a win is a win. We're through to the next round in the second qualifying round of the FA Cup, and we look forward to the draw on Monday and see who we got next in the FA Cup second qualifying round match, which we're really looking forward to it, and um, we're excited for the second qualifying round, and... Um, I'm hoping for a home tie again, hopefully, but um, but we'll see what the draw is on Monday, but I'm super excited and um, still having an un unbeaten start of the league season and this season, the whole season in the all competition, 
but um, we were superb in the previous matches. But today's game against Sheringham, it was really tight. But we should have like had some more goals. But we had chance after chance after chance. But at the end of the day, like Laura said, we're through to the next round. A win is a win. And we move on to the next game. And um, and also to remind all of us as Whitton Town supporters, Tuesday's match against Brighton Sea Region is postponed due to their FA Cup replay of Brighton Sea Region. But we won't, won't worry about them. We'll just focus on ourselves for Whitton Town. We're through to the next round of the FA Cup second qualifying round and and we're in the hat on Monday for the draw. We are super excited. I'm buzzing that we won at the end, but a win is a win. We was holding on to the one nil win against Sheringham in the FA Cup and but we have been superb as Whitton Town supporters, like getting the players going. And a win is a win. Through to the next round and bring anyone on. Hope you all enjoyed today's Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below on my YouTube channel, James Beardwell. Whitton Town's next match is away to Brentwood Town on Saturday, the 7th of September. Get in there! Up the town!